Hi Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. You know, if you're looking to get into uh, entry level computer gaming or if maybe you have a OEM store bought computer that uh, you want to be able to upgrade to be much more capable for computer gaming, now is the time. This is EVGA's GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Uh, it's a low power solution for computer gaming using NVIDIA's new Maxwell uh, processors, Maxwell GPUs. Uh, it does have ACX cooling. It, this is the For the Win card. It is an overclocked non-reference card and uh, I expect big things. Let's get it over on the table and get it open and take a look at all the things that come with it and I'll give you all a good look at the card itself. Alright guys, welcome back. Once again, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Uh, this is the For the Win card with Active Cooling Extreme. That's their ACX cooling. Uh, it is a 2 gigabyte card with the GDDR5 memory. It comes with GPU Boost 2.0. It is NVIDIA G-Sync ready uh, for the uh, next generation of G-Sync monitors. And uh, take a quick look at the back. It has a little image. You can see the card here, but it does say that the uh, artwork and the cooling may change. But it is this. We'll take a look at it. It comes with one display port, one HDMI, and one DVI. And then uh, just covers some of the key features here. And then uh, just all their different awards. Some of their different software that comes with it talks about their warranty here. EVGA Gaming is a really nice community. So when you buy EVGA, you then get to become part of this community that uh, you know often answers questions, has uh, games that they play, and things like that. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Of course, the card itself comes wrapped in bubble wrap and the Mylar uh, anti-static protective EVGA always comes with some nice nice poster, nice stickers, and then you do get, if I can get them out of there, there we are. You do get the VGA to DVI adapter and one Molex to six pin connector for power. Again, I mentioned the poster. It's a little bit large to unfold all of it here, but uh, you get the idea. It's a... No, nah, you can't even see it in there, but... An EVGA Art of the Game poster. Innovation and inspiration, it says at the bottom. We'll set that over here. And then, of course... A graphics card user guide uh, that comes with all of your warranty information, uh, your important notice before you get started. It comes with an overview. Uh, it talks about their software. It talks about the hardware, of course. Um, it covers all of your minimum requirements, how to prepare your computer, you know, just everything, right? And in the back, it has the another warning and then the EVGA software disk it comes with a uh, whoops there it goes comes with I have it upside down pardon me another sticker for your case uh, so that you can show that you're using EVGA powered technology and again the stickers over here let's get right in and take a look at the card itself Again, bubble wrap and the anti-static so this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 750i uh, 750 Ti for the win card it is a non-reference card it does come pre-overclocked 
and you can see there quite clearly the ACX cooling with the uh, dual fans and you can see the For the Wind logo and everything here on the back side of course it's just the PCB and the the ports at the end there you have the dual link DVI an HDMI and a display port and then just a ventilation slot for heat that's going to take up a second expansion slot on the back of your uh, on the back of your case uh, it is of course PCIe 3.0 it is not SLI you can see on the front of the card here and I want to get a nice shot of the six pin connector uh, some of the 750's do not come with a six pin connector but EVGA has provided that for more stable overclocking so the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti is based on uh, NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture which is a very low power chip uh, which allows the 750 Ti to draw most of its power from the PCI slots. EVGA has provided the 6 pin there for better and more stable, uh, stable overclocking. Um, but again, this is basically an entry level card, a perfect upgrade for an OEM system or a, you know, a store bought computer that maybe uses integrated graphics and then you can upgrade uh, to this for a uh, fairly reasonable upgrade price point and a very nice beginner card. Uh, this card does have uh, supposedly, and we will put that to the test, this card does have quite a bit of headroom for overclocking. Hi guys, welcome back. So my final thoughts for the uh, EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti for the win card, uh, pretty impressed. It's a very impressive beginner card, entry level card. Uh, it overclocks really, really well because EVGA provided the six pin power for added stability. So you can do a little bit of tweaking in the voltage. Um, if you watch the video that I did using Precision X, you can see I bumped up the millivolts a little bit and I was able to get the base clocks up to 1304 uh, that was a 115 extra megahertz. EVGA said that they would be around 80 or so pretty easily. Uh, I was able to get 115 out of it without too much trouble. Any more than that and I started to have problems. But the uh, little 750 Ti by EVGA is a very impressive card. It stays really, really cool, of course, due to the ACX uh, cooling fans, the double fans here. Uh, it never really got only when overclocked at, at base clocks at default it never got over 50 but even when overclocked it topped out around 52 it, it toggled around not toggled uh, jumped around 52 to 53 a little bit uh, but that is still that's well within normal range so uh, no worries there for temperature of course um, the voltage is so low because of the Maxwell chips in here uh, you can see in my charts that under load and under idle it hardly draws you know any noticeable power so it's a very good card for low power uh, OEM computers or things like that or for baseline builders you know who want to use like 400 to 500 watt power supplies things like that it's going to work beautifully and of course you can see in the charts uh, if you go back and read on the forum or read in the website there um, you can see in the charts that it really runs even all the newest games at pretty high settings uh, really well easily playable everything above 30 frames per second uh, some of them up to 50 60 I think a couple were at as high as a hundred frames per second um, in some scenes so I mean that was like it, it peaked there uh, that wasn't the average but either way just a great card especially for the price coming in at about 169 so with that much going for the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti uh, for the win card there's just no way I can take anything away from it 
Frame rates were spectacular. Overclocking was easy. Their software is great. Precision X works beautifully. Um, everything about the card is exactly where it should be or even better than I expected. And so of course I'm going to give it an Editor's Choice Award. So once again, my name is Steve Cox signing off for High Tech Legion and we'd love for you to come over to our forums and join us there at www.hightechlegion.com come over to Facebook and give us a like there it's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash hightechlegion um, and of course if you like regular updates through Twitter follow us on Twitter and uh, follow our daily tweets and weekly tweets to keep up with all the news and everything new in technology and remember with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you probably haven't seen it at all.